You're listening to Life with Herpes, and this is episode 54. Hey again, my friends. This is your host, Alexandra Harbushka of Life with Herpes, and if you've been listening to the last couple episodes, you've heard that I am in France, I'm in Paris and Versailles, and I'm recording this here at the Versailles Palace. How awesome is that? Um, I just got a text from one of my girlfriends saying, really, is there any other place to be? Like, no, there's not. The only thing is, I desperately and dearly and truly miss my love, my fiance. So I miss him so much because he is not with me and um, I cannot wait to see him. But other than that, is there really any place to be? No. So I got motivated and wanted to record another episode here. Um, This is another uh, hashtag Ask Alexandra and it's from Lisa in Orlando. And if you want to be cool like Lisa, you can go to lifewithherpes.com and you can fill out the, oh, my mic is way down here now. Let me move it up so you can hear me a little bit better. Um, You can go to the lifewithherpes.com page. um, Lifewithherpes.com, fill out the hashtag Ask Alexandra. Answer, send it, answer it, I answer it. Also, if you are a member, which you should be, it is free of the Life with Herpes community, you can go to the Slack group and also ask that question or whatever question you want. So, um, that is the way to do it. So I'll try and keep this prop. So if you're watching this on YouTube, so you can see the palace. Sorry if it's windy and the noise is not great. I am trying to just give you a view or an experience or, yeah, I'm trying to do that. So anyways, Lisa asks, um, how do I tell my ex that now I have herpes? Okay, Lisa, great question. And I really want to back that up a little bit and boil that down. So, first of all, why do you need to tell your ex that you have herpes? So let's look at that question first. Are, do you, are you telling your ex because he gave it to you? Are you telling your ex because you want to get back together with your ex? Um, or are you just telling your ex because you want to tell your ex? So let's look at it this way. I personally believe, unless you're going to have sex with somebody, you do not need to tell them that you have herpes. Um, I don't see the point. It's like, would you tell somebody that you're on your period if, for whatever reason? Or would you tell somebody that you are, um, uh, there's more people in tuxedos. If you listen to the last episode that I recorded, there's like a black tie event here at the Versailles tonight. So all these people in tuxedos keep driving up. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, I got distracted again. but. Um, it's just so cool to be in, in France and in Versailles and like see that the palace is still being used and see people getting out in their beautiful ball gowns. So hopefully I will capture some of these people. Anyways, so yeah, if you're just telling your ex to tell your ex, I say why? What's the point? Why do you need to let him or her know? Um, if you're telling your ex because he gave it to you or you believe he gave it to you, then that's simple. You need to, I do believe you should let him know because if somebody had let him know, then perhaps you wouldn't have it, right? That's a lot of times what happens is people are too nervous or scared or don't want to tell anybody and so then that's how it gets transmitted. So I would simply sit down. Uh, that is probably your purpose of telling him and do it someplace probably public and, you know, if you're not together, there's a reason why you're not together. And let him know. And just say, hey, I went to the doctor. This is what happened. I have herpes. Um, I was only with you, or you are the only person that it can be from. Um, I noticed it after we had been together, and here you go. Um, I just want you to know so that you can go get tested so that you don't pass it on to anybody else. Simple, sweet, clean, um, I know you might want to get into the I hate you, why'd you give this to me, that type of thing, but take the high road and just let him know or her know that you have it and it is what it is and move on with your life. Um, That person is an ex. 
Now, if you want to get back with your ex and you're like, you know what, I really want to get back with them, here comes some more fancy people in that car right there. Okay. So if you want to get back with your ex and let's say you both went off and did your own thing and you had fun, probably he had fun, then you just say, you know what, I got tested. I got an STD test. I wanted to be uh, responsible and be on top of this before committing back to you. And this is what I found out. I don't know where it's from. I don't know if you had it and I got it from you or if, you know, I did have other sexual relationships in between and I now have it. Truth is, I don't know where it came from, but this is my full disclosure and let's talk about it. Right? So the key here is you got to disclose it. If you're going to sleep with the person, you got to disclose it. If you know this is where it came from, then you got to disclose it to that person. I truly believe. Now, if this is somebody that you're like, look, I, I do not know this person anymore. I don't know where to find them. Then, you know, you've done what you can to tell them. But, you know, try to look at the situation, Lisa. I don't know why you want to tell your ex. Um, but look at the situation as why are you telling them? What is your point? Is it to get attention? Is it to find uh, a way to connect again? Is it a way to blame um, or what? So just try and get really clear on why you want to talk to him and why you want to tell him. Um, because a year from now, you know, your situation may be different. You know, a year from now, you may uh, be in a completely different relationship and wonder, you know, why you went through telling your ex. Um, so just get crystal clear. And that's really my advice to you is get crystal clear on why you are wanting to discuss this with him. So if you have, this is a great question though. I really, I really do think it's a great question. So um, you guys can answer it in the Life with Herpes Slack group. We can keep talking about it. It would be great. Um, anyways, have an awesome rest of your day, Lisa. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you that want to be super duper cool like Lisa, um, go to lifewithherpes.com. You can submit your question. Also join our group. It is free. Like I said, go to the Slack group. Um, and what I didn't talk about earlier, which I, because I got so distracted with all the beauty around me and the fancy people going to a party um, at the castle, are um, the coaching. This is something I have introduced in the last couple weeks, and it is so touching to be able to meet with you, and it's something that you were asking for. So um, I listened, and I reached out, and this is what we are doing. So um, go to lifetherapies.com for more information as well. Also, if you are a member of the free group, you get discounts. Yeah, you get discounts. So you want to join. You get the promo codes and all that fun stuff. Anyways, as you can hear, I have a cold. My nose is running. I need to go blow it. And my friend is probably like, where is Alexandra? I said I'd be gone 20 minutes and it's now been an hour. So she's probably worried about me. So I'm going to go home. And have an awesome, blossom rest of your day. Thanks so much, Lisa. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.